last save our progress to our quest, our place, and we'll head on out to the church. All right. We're going to go call it here. Where are we going here? Save our progress to your quest. Replace. Yes, replace. All right. We're going to just head on out of the swamp temporarily. Move our way out. Now we can get that tiara from the church. Beach going down the beach. I'm gonna find a way to the cottage. Okay. Further down. Further down, past the with this picket fence here. All right. The wooden door is closed. You can see. Let's knock on that window. door. Oops, it's, old. it's unoccupied. All right. What's in this cottage here? The house seems small and empty now that nobody, nobody lives, here anymore. lives here anymore. Lift the pillow. And look you beneath lift it. the pillow and look beneath it. To your surprise, you discover a small hmm. bottle of ointment. A label on the side reads Bane. Wolfbane. Being very careful not to smash it, you take the ointment and put that it could in be your useful. pocket. You can't use that there. Okay. Can I use some of that Wolfbane now? The delicate bottle has a label. It reads okay. Wolfbane. The bottle feels cold. All right, let's use it up now. Rub the wolfbane. You rub the wolfbane ointment all over your skin. All right, Tierra Quest. Continue save. All right, is anything else in here? This that could be beneficial here. Place that. It is a. Si no. The bed is in. It is a portrait of a young man. He looks somewhat familiar. You have no need of flowers. You have the bed is much t the bed. You don't touching a lot of objects, no but there's nothing here. Around, I also a benefit you here. Have the table. The table looks like an expensive piece of decor. You decide not to get your hands all over it. A real keep the windows closed. The night air is cooling rapidly. You have all right. Let's head on out. We've got the wolf bane. Save our progress to our quest. All right, let's go back to church. Okay. All right, come on, let's get that tiara. Walk down this pathway here. <clears throat> on examine my re re rearrange my camera a bit <clears throat> okay past the town entrance and to the church there it is the church of Kalima you have come to the church of Kalima it is said that all are welcome and that the monks living here often help them or so they need. say these ones are werewolves though your heart beats faster and faster as you push on the handle of the church door. It opens, and you nervously step inside. Oh. This place is pretty spooky. Looks like a, looks like a, some kind of, uh, I don't know, witchcraft going on in the church. Evidently, someone stands at the center of the symbol, as you can see some hair on that part of the floor. There are a number hmm. of brown robes on the floor, similar to the one worn by the monk you met earlier. The crucifix has been removed from its original place of prominence, and now leans at a careless angle Weird. against the wall. A large tapestry now adorns the wall behind the altar. 
The image on the tapestry bears a depiction of some kind of ceremony or ritual. It is somehow reminiscent of the room you are right. standing in. You see a book sitting on the altar. Old it worn. appears old and worn. Pick up that book. Let's look at it. It's a journal. You look over the book. It is a journal written mm. by Lowulf, head monk Lowulf. of the Church of Kalima. <clears throat> through it, you see a paragraph with a name you recognize. It is frustrating, as always, dealing with Count Kaldar and his ilk. He is just like his father, perhaps even worse. He insists that Kalima be pushed forward to enlighten the peasantry. Can he not see that the this path leads to ruin? How can the people retain their moral goodness if their minds are filled with knowledge of the wider world and all of its sin? Sounds like a very repressive author. You turn a few more pages and choose another interesting looking paragraph. I am quite convinced that Kaldor is so blinded by his so-called vision for Kalima that he cannot see the folly of his intentions, and yet he is the lord of Kalima. To publicly refute him would create confusion and anger in the people. I am a man of patience, the greatest gift his grace has granted me. Perhaps time will settle this young lord's idealism and grant him sense in the process. The journal largely contains many entries of similar types and of daily matters mm -hmm. of a monk's life. You are about to replace the journal where you found it, but your eye catches a most oh, yes. peculiar passage. A wonderment was discovered in the forest this night. The spirits of the wild, long thought to be only of legend, appeared to us and saw fit to grant my brethren and I the most blessed of gifts. Such power we now have. Our forms can be abandoned in favor of any other. And I am to be their leader. They're most powerful. They are bound to me inextricably. The spirits have made promises of greater things to come for us. Oh, it fills me with such longing. The endless possibilities. What we will achieve with our abilities. I am restless. I must leave for a time. The moon is full. And I feel the urge to join my pack as they burn run. Perhaps we will hunt. Perhaps we will kill. My mind is now clear. And I know the path before us. It is a path that I shall lead us to greatness. And it will begin with the destruction of our enemies. But now I do no longer have the patience to write. I must run. I must hunt. I must. He's become a wolf man. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's deeply concerning. Deeply concerning. The passage ends abruptly. Though there are many pages left to be written on, it is evident that the final passage was written a number How of years strange. ago. How strange. You replace the journal, putting it back okay. where you found it. You have no okay. need for a robe. Besides, it seems to have a lot of hair on it. You'd get a skin irritation. You'd rather not touch the symbol, as you don't like to think how it may yeah, be used. I, I don't want to know what kind of rituals they were involved to do that. All right. Candles burn solemnly. A hideous statue of a grinning fiend all right, nothing else here. All right, we're in the church cemetery. 